Hello, this is Chris Hammond with ChrisDoc.com. Welcome back to the 15th video in our DNN 9 video series. This video is going to cover the skin or the theme project creation within Visual Studio 2017. Now, before we get into that, there's a couple of prerequisites assumed in order to really function within this video. We already have DNN running locally at dnndev.me. And I already have the DNN project templates installed for Visual Studio 2017. If you don't have either of those completed, you could go ahead and check out earlier videos in our video series. Now from there, we're going to go ahead and we'll start Visual Studio 2017 as an administrator. And then we'll go through the process of creating the project in Visual Studio utilizing the C-sharp compiled theme template. And then we'll do a quick overview of the uh, solution, the files in our skin. And in the next video in our series, we'll actually dig into more details about the, the actual skin itself and applying that skin to pages within our DNN website. So let's go ahead and switch over to our development environment. So here we have DNN 911 running on a local virtual machine that I have set up for development. I'm gonna go ahead and open up Visual Studio 2017 now, I already have the shortcut mark to run it as an administrator, so I get the notification there. And as Visual Studio opens up here, we'll wait for that to fully load before we go through the process of creating our project and our solution within Visual Studio. Now, once that's loaded, we can go ahead and go to the file menu within Visual Studio. And from within the file menu, we'll choose the new project option. Now we're gonna go ahead and use the .NET Nuke templates that were previously installed. And we're specifically going to choose the DNN 789 C-sharp compiled theme template. Now when you're creating a skin or a theme in DNN, utilizing this template, it's very important where you locate the project files and the solution file itself. So we're gonna go ahead and give the theme a name and we'll just call it sample theme here. And the location needs to be inside of our local DNN website. So in my case, that's at dnndev.me. Now from there, we need to put it into the portals and then underscore default folder. Underneath of that underscore default folder, we're gonna put this, the package or the project into a folder called skins. Now, from there, we don't have to change the path. We just leave it as, as what I've typed out here. Visual Studio is gonna create a folder underneath of that skins folder called sample theme. Now, importantly, on the right side of the selection window here, we have the create directory for solution unchecked. So we'll go ahead and click okay. And that's gonna go ahead and pop up a window here, which will allow us to come in and modify any of the parameters or the, the predefined parameters that are part of the, the uh, project templates for Visual Studio. And I'm just gonna modify our namespace and the email address, you don't have to do that. Uh, but I like to do that to differentiate my skins versus my packages uh, or modules or other extensions. So we'll go ahead and click OK and Visual Studio will create the solution file as well as the Visual Studio project, the C Sharp files, that will comprise our sample theme. Now once the theme has been created or the project has been created here, we do get a, a sample documentation file that's opened up here. This just gives us a couple of next steps if we need to, we want to review that. I typically will come in, close that folder, or that file that's open. And then over within the Solution Explorer on the right side of the screen, I'll go ahead and right click and choose the documentation folder and choose delete. And that will simply remove that documentation folder. That's not a folder that we need to distribute or package up. It's only for the Visual Studio template once it gets created to give you kind of a next step. So let's go ahead and do a really quick overview of what the package here, or the project here consists of. So we have our solution at the top called sample theme. We have the project within that called sample theme. And then we've got your normal DNN files 
for a web application form type of project. We have some navigation files here called Bootstrap Nav. Take a look, there is some JavaScript and a text file as well as an XML document. We have some build scripts which controls our packaging so that we can easily distribute this theme once we're ready for that. There is a folder here called containers as well. Now this folder contains two ASCX files out of the box, one called blank and one called main. We'll talk more about what a container is in a future video, but this particular theme creates two containers. Now, this folder, this location where these containers are in the containers folder is not where they actually need to exist in order to utilize them in DNN, but part of the installation process and part of the build scripts that I've included within these project templates will put them into the appropriate location so that you can use them in your DNN website. From there, we have a, a CSS folder, which has some cascading style sheets around our bootstrap information, the bootstrap library that we're utilizing for this responsive theme. There are some fonts that are included within the project. We have an images directory, which has four icon images attached. There's an IMG folder, which has some PNG files. These are actually for uh, a library that gets installed with this particular theme. Uh, with the bootstrap library that allows you to um, use a slideshow and do some kind of video animations etc within the skin or within the content of your site and then we have a js folder which has bootstrap along with the image gallery javascript files and then in the root of the project itself we have a couple of different layouts available to us the layouts are controlled within our skin or our theme by an ascx file we have an edit.ascx, we have a home.ascx, and we have a pop-up skin.ascx. In future videos, we'll go into, into more details within these particular files, but out of the box, the skin allows you to provide an edit or a home layout. The pop-up skin layout is utilized um, in older versions of DNN when there was a, a, a iframe or a modal window that would pop up. I'm not sure if it's actually still used in DNN 9 or not, but it's still included, included within the, the template. Now, outside of the ASCX files, there are some other documents in here. There's a doc type.xml, which allows us to define uh, the HTML doc type for our pages or our skins and our layouts. There's two different license files, two different formats of license files. Uh, there's a packages config, which is the NuGet package information. Uh, we have a readme.md file if you're utilizing uh, GitHub or uh, Git repositories. And then a release notes.txt that gets utilized during the DNN installation process. We have a DNN file. This is the manifest for our skin or our theme, which can tells DNN when we go to install it, all of the necessary information for this skin or this theme package. And then we have an additional CSS file there called skin.css and then a base class called skinbase.cs. This is a real quick overview of our creation of the project, the theme, the template for our, uh, our DNN development site. In the next video in our series, we will go through the process of packaging up that skin, making that work within our local DNN site, and applying it to pages. This has been Chris Hammond with ChrisTalk.com. Thanks for watching the video.